What up, though, guys? Kush Coffee and Games, back with the next episode of Elite Dangerous. Sorry for the little pause in between our last little stream and this one. I was um, considering what I wanted to do, considering my options. And as it stands, I have enough money to build a vulture. I do kind of want one. I want one for bounty hunting. And, I mean... Granted, this one's not going too high in the tiers, I don't think. We'll probably be lucky to get that bitch up to tier 6 in the next day or whatever. Um, but I'd like to get it back into the top 25%, and I feel like the Vulture is one of the best ways to do that. So, that's kind of my plan. That being said, I haven't really decided 100% on how I want my build to go. So if you guys have any suggestions whatsoever, by all means, send them in. I'll be bugging you guys as you guys come in. Um, also, directly in front of me, once again, chat. So, if you guys feel like, uh, bullshitting and seeing what's going on and all that shit, by all means, join on in. Now, <coughs> sorry about that, but we are going to go back. Wait, let's see. We still have, have a couple things to deliver. Alright. Well, I mean, we can do one more delivery. That's not going to be the end of the world. Give some people to some time to get back in. Also, let's see if this is fixed yet. Because I still haven't figured out a way to fucking buy our shit. It's all in the fucking... Um... It's all in the... Like, the basket to buy it, but it wouldn't let me fucking buy it yesterday. And it tells me that I got the points. There's no real reason why I shouldn't be able to fucking confirm my purchase. So, I'm going to try again just quickly here. Grab that. Card it. Or we'll just buy now. Let's try that. Proceed to payment. Complete payment. I cannot complete the payment. I don't understand what the fuck is going on. Other people have been able to complete the payment, but for whatever reason, I cannot fucking do it. It's driving me up the wall. All I want is purple lasers. I bought the fucking points. Ah, whatever. I'll just, I'll deal with that later, I guess. I might have to call them and see what the hell is going on. But, like I said, today, we are going to be getting a vulture, so no more of the nasty fucking fuck you guys talk. Not you guys, but like, you know. The, uh, the people who cited, set it up so that you didn't actually have, like, an in-game menu to purchase things. You had to go through the web browser. Like, what the hell? <clears throat> um, not the commodities. Sorry. Having a bit of a brain fart here. But, yeah. I was looking at it, and, like, my ship build for it, it come out to 18 mil. And it's not a perfect ship build. I'm sure you guys have better ones. But, uh, I, yeah, I was, like, looking at it, and I'm like, without the discount and all that that I'm going to end up getting, like, that's not bad. I can do that right now. With the 25 mil I've got, fucking rights I can. Wait, did this really just, like, nothing? Liberate. Liberate. All that type of shit. Oh, yeah, I didn't actually... Th think of putting uh, weight capacity on it. Maybe I'll have to redo my thing. See, this is why I need your guys' help. Because when it comes right down to it, I mean, I don't... I have some ideas and stuff like that, but you guys are you guys are the vets. You know what the fuck he's talking about. As it stands, though, we are going to be going back to the Everett system. Let's mark that up. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Yeah, no, fuck it. We're actually not going to lose anything. Oh, God damn it, really? Anyways, we're not really going to lose out if we cancel the missions. It's not going to be the end of the fucking world. Oh, my 
I driving? You can tell I was not playing this game for a while. Well, I mean, I say a while, it's been like 24 hours, but whatever. It's been a while. jumps is it anyway? 17. Even in this bitch. Damn. Wait, we should start adding boost now, shouldn't we? people to join the stream, we may as well get some more exploration data as well. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. We need to go back. No wonder it's so goddamn long to get there. Shit. Let's go right the fuck on back and get our uh, ASPX. Oh god, that was a bad decision. Let's do 17 jumps in a fucking... in this thing. Oh wait, no, never mind. Cancel. Cancel. What? It really is 17 jumps in this? Huh. For a second, yeah, no, I was definitely convinced that we were probably driving the wrong fucking ship, but no, we're actually in the right one. Wow. That's crazy talk. Goddamn crazy talk. Oh well, whatever. I guess it's not like a fucking souped up condor or anything. <clears throat> Once we get to the Everett system, I can set up um, the Coriolis shipyard, figure out where the Li Yu Ryong system with all the parts I need that's closest by is, and then that way once we've built our vulture we'll be able to just, you know, quickly get back. If I was to build it all the fucking way out here, I'd either have to transport it for 30 fucking minutes or I'd have to um, fly back in it. At like the 9 light year jump distance that the ship that I built has, I wouldn't want to jump it back at 500 fucking light years. That's that's a few jumps. It's like 80 jumps, I think. That's nuts. Well, it ought to be a fun trip back, I guess. So. And yeah, with the 27 million that I've got, I should be able to build at least one of those ships. With pretty much whatever the fuck I want on it. Anything cool nearby? Cool and expensive. Fuel scoop disengaged. Mm. Those three might actually be worth visiting. Depending on how long it's going to take us to get over there.
bit of a jump distance for this planet. Jeez. Well, not even just this planet. Like, looking at the orbital rings, it's kind of a large ring system. Your ASL explorer or your ASP explorer? I don't know if there is an ASL explorer. I'm not going to sell mine just because it's got the longest jump distance. It's a good travel ship until I can get a conda or something with a longer jump distance. But I am planning to build a vulture tonight for bounty hunting and shit like that. And uh, I'm also still going to be using this probably for like the, the land subterfuge missions that I plan to do tonight. While I'm landing on planets and fucking shit up. Just because it does have a long jump distance. The Vulture is going to be fun for, for the bounty hunting, but... Eight fucking light year jump distance is pretty shit. Tell me I got something good. High content metal. What about you? Ah, you're 7,000 fucking light seconds away. Not a chance. Not worth it. Yeah, you can definitely make some decent money with the cargo runs. Especially if you use the uh, the EDDB or whatever. Plot your, like, trade routes and shit. <clears throat> what up, though, Chucky? I guess Chucky's son. Chucky Jr. I'm just going to call you Chucky Jr. until there's a better term for you. Unless you want a different name. Ooh. Oh. No, that's a dwarf. Never mind. It's not a gas giant, I don't think. What's up? Fucking holy shit, 15,000 light seconds, huh? Nice. Yeah, fuck that one, too. Goddamn planets. Being like fucking just ridiculous distances away. I'm getting a vulture partly for the maneuverability and the fire. Well, I don't know. It's just a really good fucking bounty hunting ship from what I've been told and what I've experienced so far. Federal dropship is definitely a badass, though. Are you on PC, PS4, or Xbox? Ridiculous. Also hilarious. Ah, uh, yeah, see, I'm on PS4. I'm not sure if there's uh, many people rocking a dropship yet. Oh, I think that... Maybe not. Well, at least it kicks you out when you get too hot. Problem solved. If anything, may as well fucking scoop some more. Well, I'm still cold. Ooh. 
That is a pretty hefty bill, bro. I'm not gonna lie. See, mine's gonna cost me about uh, 18... Well, probably less, because I'm gonna get the Lee Young Ryu system uh, discount, so... Probably cost me about 15 million to build it. No, you can't. Persistent universe, we all, like... We're all technically influencing the universe, but we can't, uh... But we can't play in the same universe. Oh yeah, I've seen a couple. There's not very many, though. And I almost guarantee that most of those are... Either people like me who are getting help from the chat, or people who are, like, hard into the research and are, like, delving into it, or, like, old-school fans of the PC game, and couldn't get into it like me, but were, like, dedicated to it. Or, they're ex-PC players. Or, you know, there's the odd badass that just picks this shit up and fucking is like, Yeah, I'm in. I got this shit. Oh, that's the asteroid field. <laughs> Ooh, that's not great. I imagine that's kind of going to be a concern for me for a while, though, too, because, like, when I eventually get a conda, that thing seems rather large. Uh, Marty has a better opinion of it than I do. I haven't tried a Diamondback. Mm. Oh, that's right. here uh, a couple of things meh let's just continue on our way to Erevit yeah see the ASPX seems to be a very specified ship you either go full fucking combat mode, or you go full explore mode, or possibly some other shit. What up, Caster? Welcome back to the stream, bro. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a... Well, I don't know if I've seen a, a precise Neutron Star, or one of the White Dwarf fucking copycats, but I've definitely seen stars that throw off particle trails. Or tails. From the top and the bottom. From what I've been told, if you, like, hit it, you can get a... Uh, like a essentially an FSD boost or if you like fly through it the right way without actually frying your ship Yeah, no. Oh yeah. Oh fuck, no doubt. The first time I came through it, I didn't realize what the fuck was going on. I was like, I was trying to go take a toke at the same sort of time, and like just flying around doing the scoop shit, 
and when I came into it, it was all tiny, and it was like, I want to get a closer look at that. And then I tried to get a closer look, and it was not good. Awesome. here for a bit. Definitely looks like a couple of decent worlds here. Ooh, definitely looks like a couple of decent worlds here. Oh. Shit. Kinda tempted to stay and scan some of this shit. Especially since it's not far away at all. I'm gonna scan this system. Um, not particularly, but, I mean, I can't really ignore the amount of money that's in this fucking, s in this zone. Like, and it, if it wasn't for the fact that it's all close by and shit like that, too, I would probably change my mind on it, but... <clears throat> I should be able to, like, fly around and scan this system in just a couple of minutes, and then we can get back over to Erevit, and then I'm gonna build up that, uh, that vulture. And then we're going to get back into the Aravid bounty a little bit because I want to be in the top 25% when it ends, if possible, again. Uh, all sorts of ways, honestly. I've done quite a bit of exploring, quite a bit of trading, quite a bit of bounties. No, um, you still. I still have to get to rank 4 for that, so what I want to do tonight is enough bounty shit to try and get bump me back into the 25% and ex enjoy the vulture a little bit. And then I'm going to go do some actual, like, missions, some military missions for the Federation and shit. So that I can start building up my re my relations with, or my rank with them, per se. Because, like, the boom missions were bringing up my rank a bit, but I still haven't ranked up once with the Federation. I have no rank with them, and I need to hit rank 4 to get to the, um, yeah. So. Oh, not that, not that. Damn it, I didn't want the surface map. Ah, well, whatever. The fact that these are all la landable planets is, like, cool and all, but it actually makes them worth less, according to the little chart that Mahdi sent me. Unfortunate, but whatever. Like I said, I mean, it's still... It's, like, 50k a planet, and um, they're all close by. Pretty sure that's a high metal content world, if I'm correct from the little hologram thing. I'll 
the other got like 30 mil in bounty. Nice. Yeah, no, um, if I go into my status. Statistics, that's what I'm looking for, the balance. Technically speaking, I could have bought a condo. Yeah, yeah. Um, they uh, they're worth more if they're not a landable planet. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm gonna look through the Galnet and see what I can find, cause I know the Galnet will tell you a lot of that shit. It's just kind of like you gotta pick through the shit. But um, let's see here. Combat wise, I've earned five mil from bounties. I earned the 14 mil from the um, from the community goal. Uh, black markets trading profits is 25 essentially, 24 and a half. So exploration is seven and a half. Sing? Sure. For fucking sure. Fair enough. When I, like, went through the Galnet before, it, like, shows the, the civil unrest and shit like that. And you can go through and sort of, like, find the Federation's kind of status report and shit. Or theoretically, I could even go through Power Play and just see what they're, like, attacking. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll just take Madi's advice. He knows what he's talking about. Nice. Is that better for like exploration vessel? Well, I'll just br I'll bring them both. Because I would like to start doing some more battle-style missions. And if I get a good Vulture, I'll have the potential to do it. I won't say ability, because that's totally different. But I'll have the potential to do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I want to do a lot of SRV missions, because that's more skill-based than it is fucking, like, how good your ship is and shit. Oh, that's why it's a moon, it's not the planet. Fair enough. I'm like, why do I have to be so damn close? Oh, uh, okay, fair enough. I was just gonna scan it all, because whatever. That one should be another high metal content.
I find it funny that it said this one was the closest to me. Uh, I guess that's true too, yeah. God damn it. Go past to slow us down. There we go. Use the fucking planet's own gravity. not going to do those ones. Those ones are far enough out that I'm like, nah. Get the close shit. Oh, does it? I haven't been gathering any, no. Not yet. For the time being, I just kind of plan to run it, uh, run it mostly upgraded. I know it needs a lot of upgrading at the very least to make it faster, because it does have a piss-poor fucking jump range. But, just for combat, I should be alright. As long as I don't get into conflict zones. God damn, this jump is taking forever. What the hell? Tell me I'm not being hyperdicted. Tell me it's just lag. Well, that scared the shit out of me for a minute. I was planning to use the, um, the, uh, Gatling guns, since I'll still be doing bounty hunting with it to start. <laughs> when it went, like, all black like that, and for the first second, I was like, oh, for fuck's sakes. Assholes getting fingered. <laughs> well, at least it's not me. I thought maybe my PlayStation was just starting to crap out a bit. Yes, yeah, new you just get a black screen and all of a sudden it opens up in the middle with a little bit of light and some alien fingers coming inside. Yeah, maybe. Couldn't put the hard points away, I guess, while I had my fucking scanner on. Whatever.
Yeah. Really, game? Ah, there we go. Woo! The concern was definitely real there. Morning, Graham. Welcome back to the stream. <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of what I was thinking. Um, do like a pulse laser and then... Because um, the pulse laser does... Or the the pulse, I believe, over the burst. Whichever one. Um, one doesn't use very much energy. It's the one that I've been using on the Cobra. And then multi for hull. Is kind of my yeah. It's 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 one of the game plans I got. Is it a it is it worth it to get like uh, a small cargo hold and a collector limpet or something like that? Is any of the cargo that you pick up really that valuable, or is it just better to kind of focus on the bounty hunting and or or you know the combat and the whole reinforcements stuff like that? Gotcha. Okay. Well, fair enough. If it's if they're gonna drop engineering mats, then I may as well invest in it, cause I don't need a whole lot. Oh, I guess you don't act. You would just need the collector limpets, wouldn't you? You wouldn't actually need the um, the cargo hold, cause the mats just kind of get stored anyways. Well, I was just thinking because, like, I could, I could theoretically put a like class one limpet on there where you only get a couple of them, and then just whenever I find a giant cluster of shit, hit it. But I've never actually, I've never used limpets before, so I'm not sure how they work. When it comes down to like, like the cargo, like, uh, like Graham said, I'm just gonna focus on the bounty hunting. I'm not even gonna worry about the the cargo hold. But engineering mats don't need a cargo hold. Gotcha. Next time I load it, I'll probably just go solo for a bit. See if that helps. If it kicks me out again. Oh, yeah. Right. Fair enough. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. I wish it would just kick me at this rate. You can't, like, save and quit at this point. made it holy shit longest jump in history I'm gonna save an exit and go solo to try and alleviate some of the stress on my internet yeah um snoopock also if you do the uh, the Coriolis uh, shipyard, EDCD. It's like linked with the EDDB fucking the database, and it's the more comprehensive guide than just like the the regular Coriolis shipyard. 
It's what I've been using. It's what was recommended to me, and it's fucking amazing. Nice. That's crazy. I'll be right back, guys. I'm just gonna get some water. I haven't actually used that site for trading per se yet because I haven't like the trade route for, from Altair and shit like that has been good enough for my dolphin um, plus I've been making money in other ways right now so I haven't really needed to do the trading but when I do go back to trading with like a condor or something like that for fucking you know a lot of money I will definitely be using the site myself brutal Um, Graham, they did do a server upgrade yesterday, and they did send out a message when it, like, shut down the servers on us, so. If it is that, I, th I don't know. It, I just find it weird that they would give us, like, hint, like, you know, constant ten-minute updates and five-minute updates yesterday, and then just be like, haha, today. Maybe their servers are just having issues. Mm. Yeah, see, the the rare good trade from Altair and whatever. Well, granted, I haven't seen what um, Lav has for goods because it's still on fucking lockdown. Um, but as long as it's only, I think, 56 cargo is what my Dolphin Max is out at. And HS80364 only has 57 cargo there that you can pick up for the rare goods. So you only lose out on one. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Well, here's hoping it lets us in long enough that we can get to a shipyard so we can start building this vulture. There we go. Gonna have to re-access the map, replot the route. There we go. If you need the triangle. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I only use the triangle, and even then, at some point in time, I, uh, I just kind of dropped the triangle and went straight to a straight line back and forth. Um, but yeah, once Lav is not on lockdown, I'll see what they have there and how much cargo they have. T6 might be more valuable for that, but if it's, yeah, like I said, if it's only gonna fill up my 56 slaughter, then I'll just keep my dolphin for now. Uh, no, what was I gonna do now? Um, 
No, no, that's what I was gonna do. I still need to scoot more. <clears throat> still have what five jumps and I've only got two like one and a half jumps worth of fuel so let's not just rush into that other system Yeah. Yeah, it definitely gave me a good boost. Yeah, see, I know it's not part of it, but I also remember that it was part of a different route that I had found, and it does have rare goods on the station. I can't remember how much. The route, the other route that I found wasn't very good, to be completely honest. It was just, there was so many small amounts on the station that it just did not make the rare good trading worth it. Maybe for like a sidewinder or something, but... Yeah. Anyways, um, but Lav does have rare goods on it, and it is far enough away from uh, Altair to be decent for the trade. is a little excessive. Let's do like 120 so our heat doesn't build too damn fast. And even when it does start building a little bit, we'll go fucking... We'll go heat sink mode on its ass. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's getting hot in here. And now it's not. I do still need to get a better fuel scoop for this thing. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've, I've been told that tip before. And I've done it before. Um, but I just figured I have the heat sink and I have the money to spend. Why not sit a little closer, take a little bit less time. We might even have, we should have enough as long as we keep scooping as we go a little bit to just kind of make it to air of it with the fuel that we have. I wish you could cream name modded Rappins, huh? I wish I could purchase my fucking colors for my weapons in my wake. That's all good. I was just bugging you, man. Um, but, like, I've seen other people on the PlayStation 4 with the colored fucking exhaust fumes, and I want to ask somebody, like, the next time I see somebody, I'm going to ask them how the fuck they did it. Did they have to go to... Aw, oh, crash. Did they have to go to the actual website or what? Because when I try to fucking do it, I can't do it. We'll do it again right here. I just, I want to see if maybe I can do it from the main menu since we got kicked here. Need to buy a nameplate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy now. Proceed to payment.
Oh, that makes sense, I guess, but... Yeah. And I've been trying to buy it, because I've already got the fucking Frontier Point. But whenever I try to go through the main menu, it doesn't let me confirm the purchase. It'll let me get up to the point where it says, Would you like to confirm your purchase? And then it tells me to go fuck myself. Galaxy. Bad habit. Oh, these servers tonight. Oh, these servers tonight. Like, God damn. Also, curiosity, since I do sort of have FSD boost, technically, maybe, should I possibly switch that on? Or is that something Freeze different than what I've done? Charging. Awesome, I will. And yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, I will definitely contact them about it. But if I see somebody else in game with it, I'll ask them if they had to go through the website and purchase it or what the fuck's going on there. Yep. Oh, wait, mats. Mats for the color? You have to actually, like, craft it after you purchase it? Okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, I got it. I got you. Fire groups. And there it is. Synthesis. I take it it's FSD injection. And no, I do not. Oh, single use enhanced jump. I thought it was like a permanent thing. I thought it had to do with the engineers. That's fine, though. Dude, Fig, it's already happening, man. Battlefront 2. Star Wars Battlefront 2 I was so fucking excited for. And then they came out and said that they're going to have these trophy box fucking systems. Where you can get bonus abilities that are only unlocked through these fucking trophy boxes. And yeah, you can earn the points in game. Or you can purchase the fucking points for real money. So day one, you can start out with a blaster that does 40% damage. Shields that absorb more damage. And fucking heroes that will do crazy goddamn abilities just because you were willing to sink an extra 250 fucking dollars into the game day one. That is bullshit. Yep. And that's that's their way that they're gonna make money considering that they said that they're gonna they're gonna like do the whole first season free. No season pass, all the DLC is free. But you will pay for those packs. Whether you actually pay for it or you pay for it on the battlefield because you're dealing with a couple of dickbags who have too much money on their hands, you're gonna pay for it. And it's so disappointing because that battlefront looks so fucking good. I wasn't a big fan of the Battlefront 1, but... Or Overwatch. You know what I mean? Like, or... Even to an extent, like, for a free-to-play game, I understand it, but Warframe. You know what I mean? You've got a couple of collectible weapons that you can't really craft yourself, but they're not overpowered. They're not game-breakers. And they're just more cosmetically cool weapons. And then everything else, for the most part, you can purchase just fucking through grinding. 
And even if you can't purchase it just through grinding, you can trade other players in the game who have purchased it for real money and enjoyed it and then purchase it off of them for crafting materials or in-game resources or whatever the fuck you want to trade them for. But yeah, exactly. Like, oh, I'm so pissed off with them. So pissed off. I don't have to sit back and think about that, bro. I haven't seen any of the new Star Wars movies once Disney fucking bought it. And not only once Disney bought it, but once they said that, like, the legacy, you know, like, the universe built around it that wasn't centered around the movies was no longer canon, they can go fuck themselves. It's part of the Legends Collection. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Maybe Disney just bought it because his, uh, his nitrogen fucking or his cryogenic sleep pod wasn't good enough he wanted to be frozen in liquid carbonate <laughs> oh man that great fucking amazing South Park episode oh, oh do we have a problem in here he just beats the fuck out of the Jonas Brothers oh so I thought we had a problem <laughs> like fuck oh good we don't have a problem I thought we had one Oh, and he just fucking takes off after beating the shit out of them. Like, that was the most badass fucking... Well, one of the most badass South Parks ever. But, like, the most badass representation of how Mickey treats the other companies. And, like, holy fuck. Ugh. But, yeah, no. Disney bugs the shit out of me. Lucas kind of bugs the shit out of me, too, you goddamn sellout. that planet gravity to slow our fucking approach. Saves us here. Plus, I want to take a bonk out. <laughs> Damn, man, like nobody's participating in this one. There's nobody near here. From what I can see. Just out of curiosity. Oh, I won't let me auto target other things. Or they're not in range. But yeah, those are uh, those are solid markers, not hollow ones, so there's no fucking players. Oh never mind, I'm in solo, dur. Fuck. Obviously there wouldn't be players here. A darka darka, a darka deer.
did the lighter go? God damn it, the perpetual battle of where the fuck did my girlfriend leave the lighter? Found it, finally. Jesus. God, doggy computer is helpful for that. Welcome to our station. <sighs> well, let me grab some today. We're not fucking smoking none of that resin shit anymore. That's part of why when I was doing the Lichten Battle Mage, I was so kind of out of it, because, well, not like out of it, but I was a little bit more monotone and shit, and it took me a little bit more focus to do shit, because I had taken a fat fucking dab right before. Oh, it fucked me up. See, and that's the funny thing, though. My bong has this little Velcro strip that goes across the top of it, okay? And in the front of this Velcro strip is a small magnet. There should never be a question of where did you put it. You just put it on the fucking magnet. That's what it's there for. Ah! <laughs> it's the small little things that frustrate me. Oh, shit. It's not like it's a big deal. It's just, yeah. It's a cool little $5 fucking... Yeah. It's nifty, and it's handy, and I recommend them if you have a bomb. And you're always losing your fucking lighter. Weekly conflict report. Souls Workers Party. Huh. Well, that's interesting. The Soul Workers Party is at war. Yeah, I know, right? I kind of, like, went and made my character, like, the Space Dwarf. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you have it for PC, I almost guarantee there's a mod that would change this color to whatever color you want. But if you're on PS4 or Xbox, then you're going to have to deal with the orange. <laughs> uh, but, spe I mean, theoretically speaking, you should, like, send that suggestion into the devs. Because that might be something that they add in as a cosmetic change that you could probably, like, you would probably have to purchase it or whatever. But you might be able to get convince them to have cosmetic fucking different colored backgrounds. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Tribal war paint? No, he's just got moles. You know, moles, dwarves, underground. It's a thing. They work together. All right, now, pulse lasers, multi cannons, point defense, two shield booster, grade A's, and I'm just barely under power. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Um, I mean, if I'm just going straight combat, then I don't need that. I could do that as my cargo hold. Just so I'm making a small customization to my loadout for my vulture. And then I will set up a place to go to grab it. Build it, whatever. For E. As well as... Um... 
for the like is is 2d hull better than 2d module like if i already have a uh, tier 5 hull reinforcement is it worth having a tier 2 hull reinforcement as well or is it better to go with the module reinforcement I mean, modules, you don't want your modules to get knocked out, but is this something that I'm going to have to be concerned about with the, uh, the Vulture? I guess I do have some, like, the sensors, life support. My thrusters are D, that might be a problem. So, yeah, I might leave the modular reinforcement for now. I'll just drop the docking computer for. Ah, oh, I can't do that. Never mind. I was gonna say I'll I'll, do, I'll drop that. No, I can because I've got cargo hold now. For the collector limpet. And then I don't actually have to like grab things, per se. Or I could just go. I don't know. I'll I'll pop over to the chat here and see what you guys are saying. <coughs> Brutal, dude. Ho ho, Snoo. I mean, I, I get you mean no offense, but I know what you're talking about, and like, a little bit of shots fired there. Anyways, to be fair. Yeah, well, that's not really surprising. Um, I will say, Fig, you kind of have it better than me. Uh, I live in BC, Canada, and BC has the lowest minimum wage and the highest living wage. So minimum wage here is ten twenty-five. Living wage is sixteen fifty. I paid close to two thousand dollars to go back to school so I could get a job at fourteen buck an hour, and my bills took most of that. So for me to even save up a grand to buy a good computer, and a good computer here costs two grand to twenty five hundred. So, yeah, like it's. I'm not saying that it's it's not shitty for you because I'm not there. I'm not in your shoes, but my buddy Schoon, I mean, he doesn't even have like a great job. Like he's just a basic janitor, and he was able to drop four grand, four fucking grand on Star Trek. The fucking free to play game. There's no way I could have done that. Like I said, like I don't know what he makes and shit like that. He's obviously making more than me. But uh, trust me when I say Australia has it better than Canada. Your internet is fucked though. Your internet is fucked. I will say that. Holy shit. I know, right? He was trying to get that one, the... Not the Gem Hadar carrier, because that's like the one... No, maybe it was the Gem Hadar. It's the one you can only get in the packs. Anyways, it was like a gambling addiction for him. He just fucking kept spending money and kept spending money and kept spending money. It was ridiculous. Power-wise, I'm not bad. Could I bump this up? I could. Could I bump it up to full, though? I cannot. Well, I mean, that'll work. Okay. So I'm done making my ship now. Uh, which one is it? Stations to buy this. 
Alright. Stations to buy all of this. I also need to add the power of the Li Yong Ryu's. God damn it. There we go. And. Here we go. Where we are. And we've got one, one station that sells our exact build that also is a Li Yong Ryu system, and it is 131 light years away. That means that we'll be able to jump back here in like. Well, it'll take us a bit. <laughs> it's gonna take us a bit, but whatever. We can at least build our build now. So, with that being said, we need the BZ SETI system. I'm not able to see the chat right this second, so just give me a minute. B Z Zeti. Seti. For that, I need to go to the Coleman Ring. Awesome. Five jumps. What's up, Ultima? Docking clamps retracted. Go for departure. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll have to check out the actual website, I think. Alright, everything is plotted. We're good to go. Landing gear is out. Almost far enough away for mass lock to be disengaged. Let's go get our Voltron. And then come back here so we can fuck some shit up. I want to test it out versus the Cobra. And then potentially, we could even sell the Cobra. Actually, I'm not going to sell the Cobra. Not yet. I'm going to keep it because there is a trophy for owning Kenji. I already have the money to build the ship anyways, plus I have the money, like, well, I have the money to build it normally and still have plenty left over. So, why not build it for a discount and have even more left over and have the rebuy cost reduced and all that shit, but <clears throat> there's no real need for me to sell the Cobra at this point in time. Big ass star. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that because you get a hundred percent return when you sell uh, modules, but you only get a uh, ninety percent return when you sell the ship on whole. Well, to be fair, two British pounds is ridiculous. Two euros. Meh. Oh, we found a neutron star. What up, though? I believe. I'm almost paused. That's gotta be a neutron, is it not? That's not a fucking white dwarf. Yeah, so I've seen... There's actually two of these in between fucking... 
two of these in and around the Altair and fucking HS80364 systems. Um, with the Dolphin, when I'm flying from Altair to the HS system, the second jump passes through one of these. Yeah. On this one? That's hilarious. Okay, so yeah, these are the ones that I keep seeing. They're like fake neutron stars then, aren't they? Or is that just a neutron star and it just pops up as a white dwarf instead? I'm not sure how their classification works. But I know they're a pain in the fucking ass. And you gotta go wide. Fuck your shit. Oh, holy shit. So then wouldn't it be 100% to 400%? Yeah, if you if you correctly go through the tail, supposedly, but if you incorrectly go through the tail, death, dead, done. Fucking just, whew, ripped a fucking new one. And then you get to start over from whatever station you were last at. That's why I didn't even attempt it. I've been told you like fly through the tail, but not how. And that's something that I will look up on my own time before I start fucking with that shit. <laughs> Cause that's a little bit sketch bag. Gem. Oh, I bet. Definitely would be definitely real good for long range travel. And to be fair, like, once I get the hang of it, it would technically make my trip between Altair and HS. HS8. I'm just gonna call it HS8 for now. Um. A lot quicker because instead of being seven jumps from Altair to HS it would be what two three three jumps right four because it would be 400% so you would end up jumping essentially four jumps in one and it's the second jumps so you'd have four so yeah you'd have one jump after so it turned it into three or four jumps into seven Holy shit. I That would be with neutron stars though, right? That wouldn't be with the white dwarves for 181. Or I guess, I guess it depends on what you're flying. Like mine wouldn't be able to do that type of shit, but yours being a souped up condo with a 50 light year jump anyways. 50 plus. Holy shit. Yep, for sure, Snoopock. Okay. Yeah, I figured as much. Because there's no way. No way I could pull that shit in a dolphin. <laughs> Even at 400% of its jump range, it's not that good. Oh, for you, yeah. Mahdi, I'd imagine, was probably using his fucking, uh, he said he's got a souped up, like, engineered out, um, Conda, so he should be able to hit, like, 50 light year jump distance or higher. <clears throat> Times that by four. Holy fuck.
Is that just like base stats or is that including um is that including FSD boost? Oh? Oh, I thought it was you who said that they had a 50 let your condo, but I'm baked, my memory's not as good as it normally is. Bam! Ah, there we go. Knew it was somebody. So yeah, Caster, if you were to hit one of the Neutron Stars with yours, that would be fucking nuts. Nice, okay. And I imagine you probably made it roll a couple of times if you didn't get a immediate, well, not an immediately good one, but you know what I mean. God damn. Now, see if you could find two stations where you could, like, jump into a neutron star close by. And then fucking both of those stations had rare goods and were, you know, 180 fucking light years apart. You could make an insane amount of money. I mean, that's like, I don't know, finding a needle in a haystack, but fuck. Good to know. Better than wasting it. Lacom, Kilo, Uniform, Sierra. Follow all federal docking protocols before attempting to dock. Yeah. Oh, hey, these guys are the feds, too. Awesome. The Neutron Highway. I like that somebody's, like, charted that shit. Okay, fine. Let's go. Cool. Open the door for you. Here. Get out now. Thank you, Doogie. <sighs> is it the EDDB that you could use to plot through it, or is there a separate site?
Good maneuverability, better shields. Purchase options. Store current ship. Ha! <coughs> 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 Brutal, dude, yeah. Neutron router. For sure, I'll even screenshot this. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't use docking computer for everything. I really, really don't. But there's, like, anything that I'm using that's tedious or not going to pay much attention to or sometimes just because I want to get a bonk token every once in a while, I use a docking computer. To be fair, I do use a docking computer on most of my shit. It's basically just my combat vessels that I haven't been. Outfitting now. Our new ship. Fuck, this thing looks sexy. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there's only two anyways, but... Hmm. It means that I'm not going to be able to, like, shoot them from the bottom. Whatever. It's fine. Might as well do the hard points first. We are going pulse laser, I believe. Just gonna make sure I do this right. Pulse gimbaled, multi cannon gimbaled. Let me just make sure here. Hmm. Brutal, dude. Pretty sure it was three I equipped. Wasn't it? That was one G. Why did I only equip one? Oh, there we go. Ooh, overdraw. Damn it. 0.08%. If I drop this, does this... This, that. Or, even better yet, that is that. Drop this to a D. Great. Perfect. Just fucking barely, but perfect. Alright. This is the better one, right? Yeah. Oh, I love the way it like folds up and shit. Wow, that one's a badass. <laughs> Comparatively, like, what? Damn. Alright, multis. Three Cs. Gimbaled. Make sure they're gimbaled. Always gotta make sure they're fucking gimbaled. <coughs> oh man, though, that is so sick. <laughs> It opens up a little bit shoddy, but whatever. Oh, that looks so good. The bigger guns. The bigger guns. Alright, let's do our cores next. Okay, we're doing military grade. Yes. I mean... Well, no, I guess you get less thermal resistance. That's not so good. And it's also more money. But we'll go military grade. Power plant is obviously going to be an A. Uh, 
thrusters, A. Oh, actually, just one second here. I need to fix this here for a second. Or do I want to go B? It does draw quite a bit less energy. We'll do B. And then it'll give us a bit of an extra option in some other shit. Frame shift drive. I think I just went D because I didn't really... Yeah, I'm just going to be primarily transporting this thing through, um... Like, calling it to places. not going to be flying it anywhere and that's why it's got such a shitty jump range but it saves me huge on power which allows me to have the better thrusters and better sensors it's supposed to go for a definite power draw increase and i like being able to see things from a longer distance so at the very least i'd like that one that jump's not really worth it for me do 4B. Power distributor is definitely 110% an A. That's not even a question. This, D. Save us on some weight, get us a bit more power, uh, yeah, power saving. Alright, so, I have changed some things from my regular, or from my setup as I'm going. Still good there. Too much power draw. Take that out. I bump this down by one. Good. Okay. All right. Fun times. Wait, what? Extra military compartment. Oh, that see that actually pops over on the other page, but it doesn't. Okay, well, whatever. I'm down. And I put hull reinforcements in here. The shield booster it just takes too much power. Five D, five D. Oh, that's not good. One second, I'm just reconnecting the app so I don't lose on the comments. Should fix itself in a second. Wait with the power for last. Less speed. Actually, I guess, I guess I should look into that here. It's really not that big of a difference in power draw. But it is a big difference in the extra capacities for that one. Anything else I went with A? Nope, just the power plant. Power plant definitely stays A. Alright. 5A for the shields. Oh 
believe I went with uh, more hull for this one. Yep. I like being fucking durable. This way, even if the shields go out, I got a good chance. Wait, what? Cargo rack in use. Oh, um, okay. Well, I'll have to sell whatever the fuck's in it then, I guess. Finish everything else up, anyways. Modules. And because I'm fucking lazy. Next is the utility mounts. I won't be able to load out everything in this until I start upgrading the power plant, but I still will have a couple of things. And that is chaff launcher. <coughs> Point defense. Shield boosters. Grade B, right? B. Pushing it to the fucking limits. To the brinks. Um, kill warrant scanner I'm not interested in really when it comes down to it. I mean, I could technically get it, but I never cash in the bounties. to CZ. Uh, conflict zones? Uh, no, not conflict zones. For now, I'm going to be doing more on the bounties just so I can get um, a little bit higher on the safe haven one. Later on, I will be going into conflict zones and I can swap out for that, but... <clears throat> uh, when I have... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not worried. Like, I never cash in the other bounties, so. And then I either move ships or I die or something. But yeah, for utilities, I'm maxed out on power if I do much any... Like, Kill Warrant Scanner might be worth it. Because it doesn't take much in the way of power. Never mind. Scratch that. Takes enough that I can't do it. Um, oh, that's what I needed to do, though. Uh, commodities. Apparently there is cargo in my inventory. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Eventually I'll have to go back to the one. Does the cargo hatch really take that much power? Five percent over the line. I don't know. That's a that thing said it was only taking three, and I don't have a fuel scoop on this thing because it's just I'm gonna like go to a system and then get it transferred over there, and I'm I am like maxed out. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'll run through what I've got so far. So I got the OB shield, uh, point defense, and chaff. So I don't have to worry about missiles as much. And then if I need to break break uh, contact, I can do that without doing the silent running. I've got you know 1A military, 4A, 4B, 4D, 3D, 3A, 3B. Like I said, like this, I'm not planning to jump anywhere per se. I'm just going to use like my ASPX to get wherever I need to go and then transfer the ship over.
Oh, fucking, that's, that's sneaky. Got ya. I, uh, I canceled a whole bunch of, well, not even a whole bunch of missions. I was doing some transport missions, and it was a little bit laggy, and I accepted one that I wasn't going to do because it was a 1200 light year fucking mission, and so I canceled the mission without looking at the fine. And, yeah. But, see, I kind of almost want to leave it there because what did you do is actually an achievement or a trophy or whatever for getting a $100,000 bounty. And if it, your bounty is equivalent to your, like, what you owe them, then I would get a $100,000 bounty for that. Okay. See, hmm, I like the ability to see them before they see me, though. And I also like the ability to be able to see them from a longer distance. I guess I only lose a kilometer. Yeah, it just pumps me over a little bit. Yeah, that too, engineering is going to make a big difference. That's going to be a little bit of, um... That'll be a little bit of a, like, a grind to get the materials to do that shit. Yeah, shooting the police is the one problem that I had. Okay. <clears throat> Utility wise, I definitely can't afford to get another one now. Cores, optionals. Unless, well, I guess this should actually, maybe. Does it, does it save on power? Doesn't really save on power, so. Now, yeah, I guess, whatever. If you put your weapons away, it's not a big deal then. Frame shift drive on two. Data link scanner on two. Now, I guess you would want that on one. Weapons or... Well, yeah, I guess you want your defensive shit. Fair enough. He's on two. That on one. Data link scanner is how you scan them to see if they're wanted, and if you don't scan them to see if they're wanted, you don't get the bounty when you take them out. What was the other one? Frame shift drive and cargo hatch.
I was pretty sure the kill warrant scanner was so that you can scan them for bounties in other areas, because I've just scanned them with, like, clicking on them and having your sensors hit them or whatever, and then get the wanted, and when you kill them, I still get a bounty. But when I hit them with the kill warrant scanner, that's how I seem to get the bounties outside, and that's how it seems to describe it. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, it uses 0% anyways. Okay. Well, we should be pretty much good now for this ship. Which, it's kind of unfortunate, but we're not even going to get to use it yet because we're going to have to fly back over to Erevit in the ASPX because this thing will take a god-awful amount of fucking time to get there. Yeah, just the target scan thing. That's That's what I mean. I guess that's the other thing I could outfit it with. Thanks, Eli, and uh, I appreciate it, man. Definitely been on a roll this last couple of months. Well, this last month. It's been pretty awesome. 30%, that's what I thought. I was thinking about it, just to have it, but it does have such a shit range. This thing is supposed to be really fast in a system, though, and, like, in combat, so I guess it's not going to be too bad and very maneuverable. I may as well get it, and then I imagine that's one of those things you'd probably stick to number two as well, so you don't have to worry about it draining your power when you need the power, or do you want to keep that on number one? Uh, uh, where was I going now? No, uh, utilities, that's what I'm doing. Get the basic one. Oh, I do? Shit. Oh, no, I think that's, uh, that's 2E module reinforcement. I do like having the... Oh, it is hull. Never mind. Good call. Good call. I do like being able to scan at a longer range. But, uh, yeah. Alright, we're good. Module, hull, hull, shield. Too bad I can't get prismatic. But, uh, like three and a half weeks and I will. Okay, now I can swap back out to my ASPX. Use this ship. Yeah, see, once I've got, like, all my shit engineered and shit, I will probably have it set to fucking A. Just so that I can sit from, like, four kilometers fucking back. And just... I will be able to scan them for the kill warrants, and hopefully be done scanning before I'm even in fucking engagement range. You know what I mean? Like, that's gonna be nice. Fair enough. The fact that it does only have two hard points is a little bit concerning, but they are fairly big hard points, and it should still be a step up combat-wise from the Cobra. At the very least, the fact that I'm going to be able to outmaneuver them and not have to blast away every time they fucking look at me the wrong way because my shields are kind of shit is going to be a is yeah that's going to be nice. 
But I am going to look at outfitting for this because I do want to get a better fuel scoop for it. I will when we get to uh, Erevit and we bring it in. Or actually, I guess I should probably do it here while we still have the ability to outfit it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to check out and see if I can get a better... Because I, I put that one in because I couldn't get a good fuel scoop, a size 4. Module type limit exceeded because we still have this. Guess it'll just have to go here. Yeah. I wish there was an easier way to focus on the power plant, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. I'm just kind of thinking of uh, what I was going to put the fucking planetary vehicle hanger under. It's only going to hold one slot. Yeah, it's the same with the shield. You can only put it in one slot. Because I, I was sitting there and I was like, hmm, I kind of want to fucking... I want two shields. I wonder if I could do that. I wonder if it's a possibility. Nope. Fucking not going to let you. Two shield generators. It's like, fuck you. What do you think you are? Now I can do the fuel scoop. And five seems to be good enough. I don't think I need six. Even that's going to be like way fucking more insufficient credits. Damn. Fucking broke ass now. Point three four, point four one, and it's cheaper. And it draws less. Definitely going five C. What up, though, Richard? Welcome back to the stream. 07 to you, too. Alright, so. We now have a fucking wicked fuel scoop. That's gonna be a boon. Not having to circle fucking stars six times to fill up. Ugh. Pain in the ass. Yeah, for what I've gotten and what I'm going to be using the ASPX for for now and the fact that I've only got, you know, a 33 um, light year jump range for, for right now. Once I've got more engineering into this, I'll be able to do uh, a lot more with that. Um, tomorrow, I think, is what I'm when I'm going to focus on crafting materials and engineering. Yeah. I think when I was, like, looking at it before, like, even with this one, it's, like, 45 seconds and I fill the fucking tank from empty, so. As long as I'm just kind of scooping as I go through planets, I should be golden. Um, I'm oh, sorry. Um, make sure that we're good. Yep, I did the last community event, the, uh, Acellus Primus one, and I earned 14 million off of it. That's actually a large portion of what's been spent into this ship. Yeah. The uh, the one that I got here right now, the, like what I'm souping up for this ship, is the Safe Haven Erevit. I'm already in the top 50%. I was just in the top 25% early last night kind of deal. And it's only into the tier 5 and there's a day left. So there's no real reason why I shouldn't be able to get up there. Awesome. Yeah, I just, you know, focus for today on kind of the military build-up proper and doing some military missions. My first stream, this one is just focusing on getting this vulture ready for more bounty hunting missions, more community goals, that kind of thing. And then my next stream tonight, because um, I do like to split them up into two, 
will be us actually doing some military missions and get, like actually grinding some fed rank. But I do want to do, you know, ground missions. So if you guys know a good place for Federation gra uh, grindy ground missions, I think Madi already pointed a good place out. That would be awesome, and I will be doing that later on tonight. Haha, <laughs> yeah, bastard. It's all good. Like I said, I should be kind like I should be feathering that line. I was top 25% when I checked this morning, top 50% now. So, like I said, not a big deal. I will survive and I will conquer. Am I in the right ship? I am in the right ship. No, I'm not in the right ship. Damn it. They look so similar inside. Um, so you guys were saying that there should now be exclamation points on the things that will be turned off? Or won't be powered? Or something? Or is that in the fire groups? I guess it's just kind of better to make them fire at the same time. It's only two weapons. The power draw on my weapon supply shouldn't be too massive. What up, Doe Craig? Welcome back. Uh, it's going pretty good. We just spent about 18, 19 million on a vulture and souping it up. Nice. Nice. On the bar below. Ah, uh, okay. So right now I shouldn't be exceeding power then. I imagine that might change when I deploy my weapons. Yeah, I should be good then. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, let's swap over to the ASPX and get the fuck back over to Aravit. Let's transfer our ship over and let's do some bounty hunting. Let's kick some fucking ass. It probably also largely has to do with the fact that we uh, don't have our weapons deployed. Because even as, like, as long as we don't have our hard points deployed, even with the thing still on, I think we hadn't actually exceeded the power usage yet. But... <clears throat> we will see. We will see. Worst case, if I have to downgrade one or two things, it's not the end of the world. Especially since, like I said, tomorrow I do want to focus on some upgrades for um, engineers and shit. Like, I want to, well, not just upgrades to engineers, but upgrades to my ships with engineering. Look, guys, I went out the green slot. Aren't you proud? Alright. Over to Aravit it is. Cal map. Scan detected. Yeah, exactly. And there's really not a lot of people focusing on the engineers right now. I mean, I'm not playing online right now. I'm playing in uh, single player and all that because the servers were being really laggy and I was hoping that this would alleviate some of the problems. And it seems like it kind of has, to be completely honest. It's been better. Um, or maybe that's just, you know, shit's getting better in general anyways. Oh, and that's landing gear. Awesome. Well, I guess we're going to Super Cruise. 
What up, Chris Wu? Welcome back to the stream, bro. Ooh. See, I would like to try and make it so that the FS... Do you mean... Do you mean if you get the exclamation point right, it'll have to reboot? Because, like, if you put it on two and you, add, like, you pull your weapons out, but it's not using more power than the level two shit, then you should still be good, right? It doesn't unboot your fucking FSD. Because I am kind of worried about that. If I need to get the fuck out of Dodge and my FSD is shut down because I don't have enough power, that could be... That could be a lot of fucking money to spend replacing my shit. <laughs> but I am happy. I'm ecstatic that I did this in a Lee Young Ryu system so that we still have money left over. Because if I would have tried to build that for stock price, it would have been a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, no, my thing is, is like, if you deploy your hard points, as long as 1, 2, and 3 are powered and your FSD is in 2, it doesn't have to reboot, right? Yeah. That's true, I guess. That's that's a fair point to make. But if I pull out my weapons, and it drains all the power, and then I put my weapons away, and it takes five seconds to boot, and then I need to charge it on top of that, that can be lethal. But if I pull out my weapons, my FSD doesn't unboot because I still have enough power to run level two anyways. Then when I put my weapons away and I boost and I get the fuck away, it's that's five extra seconds, and five seconds in the middle of a battle could be the life or death situation. I do have a lot of hull, but I'm not I'm not being too ballsy yet. Okay. But yeah, that's also why I'm gonna definitely do some work on some some um, some of the engineers and shit like that. I not only want to get the engineers up for the sake of getting the extra engineer, the last unlockable one, or revealable one, but I also would like very much so to be able to weight reduction my ship, boost the power output, all that type of shit. Okay. Fuck, we're just getting a whole bunch of red stars. It's only two jumps away anyways. I just really want to try out the new fuel scoop and how fucking gangster it is. So cool. Yeah. Definitely. Is there? Holy shit. I thought there was only one more unlockable, but fair enough. And yeah, when I'm doing like multiplayer and shit, like when I went to the Farseer's place, there was like nobody on the way, nobody there. To be fair, meta alloys were sold out, and I, it was only because of the chat helping me out that I found it. So. Holy fuck. More than 10. Goddamn. How many do you have unlocked, Madi? I think one of you was saying that, like, as you, you work your way through them, you unlock more max them out or like buy three of their whatever tiered fucking stuff. Three, two, Holy fuck. <laughs> oh wow. Yes! What does a cap out at? Show me oh great fuel scoop. 412 per second. Look at that bitch climb. I'm just filling that fucking thing right up. 
I love it. Fill up with just a couple of passes. So good. Do one more quick pass just to fill her up. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's just obscene. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. Costs more than my whole fucking ship. Wow. Probably about the size of my fucking ship, too. Wow. Well, I mean, if I didn't get a discount on everything for this ship, it wouldn't cost more than my ship. But that's still pretty fucking insane. Although I guess from what I've uh, what I've been told from you guys, 20 million really isn't that much once you get to the higher tiered shit. Yep. Well, that just answered that fucking question. Eight A? What the fuck do you put on it? Like, what ship uses eight? The Corvette or something? Well, I guess not the Corvette. You wouldn't really put it on a Corvette, but like Cutter. Okay, Commander. Make your way to landing pad two two. Assisted docking initiated. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine. Holy shit. <sighs> I mean, I knew I was like, I was like a penny at the bottom of a fucking barrel kind of deal, but way to make a guy feel small for his fucking 50 million in a Your week and a half, matter. like damn, oh well, it's all good. I'll probably never truly catch up, but I'll start feeling like I did eventually. Cutter, yeah. Beluga has a big fuel tank. Ah, fair enough. Oh, oh. Yeah, two years behind for damn sure. Two years and technically more. Oh yeah, I've, I, I do feel like I'm doing well. I will say that, but uh, yeah. I've noticed that there's definitely a lot of people that have uh, a lot of questions when I do join into just random groups and shit. Holy shit, 128? I think the maximum I have right now is 32. Inara website. Screenshotting. This is kind of the nice thing about, like, the smaller tiered ships. Still not that expensive. Hiring 65000 to transfer it over here. Still not that expensive. Not when you guys are telling me, like, a fucking Corvette is, like, 20, 50 million to fucking transfer over. Fuck that noise. Aw, oh, 30 minutes. That kind of blows. Um, is our Cobra here? See, I think... Other than that, oh, never mind. It's going to take just as fucking long to get over here. Okay.
Oof. Oof. Beluga's a thirsty bitch. Ah, people are focusing on the Rakopla one now. Damn. Fuck. Oh well. See, I I didn't realize when I'd signed up for them originally that the uh, the universes were linked. So I thought that everybody would be like I figured this one would get the most attention since everybody on PS4 would be like participating in it, being in the home system. But it's gotten the least. Even this one's a little bit more ahead, and that's kind of surprising because that one's a pain in the ass to get to. True dat, true dat. Um, kind of what I was thinking, actually, since we have a half an hour since it's going to get here, and since I really honestly don't have to worry about the mission completing itself before I get back, we should, if you guys uh, know a close-by location... Marty, you mentioned one where grinding for some fed missions was good, but I want to try a subterfuge ground mission. Does anybody know a good Federation system relatively close by that I can take the ASPX over to? and do a ground-based, uh, or, you know, a place that has many ground-based. Um, yeah, Rakipla is, like, it's a ways away from here, though, and if I go over there, then I'm not participating. I, I mean, I could get more money, but that one looks like it's a lot closer to being done, and if I, I'll be lucky if I get into the top 50% on that one at this point. I have a funny feeling. Like, I could get more money. I could, but... I'm not saying I won't participate either. Tim Balders. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. Well, like I said, I I don't even really think I'll get into the top fifty percent. Even if I can get into the top 75% later on, I'll be happy for that one. That'll still get me a couple million in my pocket. And then if that one... Yeah. Whatever. I'll be a little bit more picky with my community challenges from now on. Which ones I participate in. It's not the end of the world if I don't make a whole bunch of money off of it. Let everybody else earn. Timbledaris. I'll bookmark that one. Plot there. We'll head on out. Well, since I've bookmarked Timbaldurus, I'll save that for tomorrow when I actually do do the harvesting, like a mass harvesting exodus. Um, bookmark the moon. Okay, I'm going to get out of the station before I get blown up. And then I will, I will bookmark the moon, and then we will probably head over to the Federation place to get ground scans as well as uh, potentially participate in some ground missions, subterfuge style. Detected. 
I wish I could add like little notes to my bookmarks. It was A B one D A. So D A. There we go. LHS 3437, that's what I was looking for. It is, it is close by. Awesome. Oh, it's fucking hella close by. Okay. I think I tried to do the edit before, but I don't know if I could actually, like, add text to it. I thought I was only able to remove them or some shit like that. PS4 might have limited, uh, customization options for it. Polonium used to be the rarest. Not the biggest station, but it's a station. Holy fuck, it's a ways away. Well, may as well bust some weed while we gotta wait fucking three minutes to get over there. Goddamn. Tiny little station. Couldn't you theoretically go somewhere like a sort of isolated independent system and fuck with them there? 
<clears throat> and then even if you get a bounty on you, you just, like, don't go back there for a while. <laughs> I mean, even then, isn't, like, your bounty kind of isolated to that system? Because I got a bounty from the Everett system for the 24 hours there, and nobody else attacked me over it. I just didn't go back there for a day. <laughs> <sighs> Ugh, fucking allergies. Nah, okay. Sorry if you heard the clicking, I had to... Well, I didn't have to, but I muted the mic for the last little sneezing fit there. Yeah, that could be an issue. Right now, I am playing in single because the servers were having some... Well, they were having some hiccups, to say the least. I figured going solo would be beneficial for that. And so far, it actually kind of worked out. Oh, conflict zones. Heller. Ugh. <sighs> Fuck off with the allergy shit tonight. Definitely glad I got a docking computer for this shit. Auto dock, take me in. Bum, bum. Apologize for all the sniffles and shit. Might even after I dock here, uh, swap back over to open play. I kind of like the possibility of having a random person come and fuck with me. It hasn't really happened yet. Actually, one person, one human player has tried to interdict me, and he failed. And I know it was a human because I saw the little icon fucking, like, the hollow icon behind me and shit. And he didn't have a message or anything when he fucking interdicted me. And he was really close to getting my ass. But, uh, I won out. Fuck him. Oh, here we go. We needed to eliminate one one Goliath of the Nagbala network. At Vel Veblon Vision. Collect a reward from Gardner Stop. Uh, one target. Does that mean, like, is this a mission that I would need to equip my ship with missiles for? Or, I mean, not particularly be required but something that I'd like it's advised to put missiles on my ship because shit's gonna get real also uh two sex gotta let my cat outside damn it
they are plus they are hard to kill. No, you can do it in the SRV, yes. But you don't want to start with the biggest skimmer there is. I guess you'll end up with a serious bounty on your head if you manage to finish this mission. Oh, that's not good. Oh yeah, okay, I see at the top. These actions are considered illegal in most systems. Authority ships may be sent against you. <laughs> um, maybe we will avoid that one. <sighs> Just packing a toke here. Oh, God. Getting, uh, getting on with our quick little five minute downtime thing. Get back at this shit. Help quell and rest. Ooh, what about this one? Liberate one hostage? Scan the nav beacon to target the system to help locate the target. You can also use discovery scanners for the same purpose. I'll uh, I'll keep looking while you guys tell me if the hostage miss it, mission is worth it. Doesn't seem like there's a ground scan one. It's kind of the one that we could possibly do. Massacres, not a chance with this ship. <laughs> it's not even an option. But, uh, liberate one hostage we could potentially do with an SRV. And it's not considered illegal. There's no authority ships that would be sent against us. And if we fail or we cancel, it's not the end of the world. What do you guys think? Also, for a hostage, does that mean that I need to have a, uh, a passenger cab? Or can I... Well, no, I guess it would tell me that I couldn't do the mission if I needed a passenger cab. Hmm. I kind of want to do it. Whatever. I'll accept it for now. There's no fine for canceling it later. Go try this shit out. Oh, not that. Gal map. I still have cargo space. Yes? Yep, I still got 64 slots. I'm good. Yep, it's on a planet surface, supposedly. as well oh awesome well I mean fair enough but even if it is in space we can always cancel the mission and it doesn't affect us negatively oh come on you don't have to spin us around you jackass Skimmer's lives matter. Ah, 
Um, Ultima, I see your fears, but I gotta try. I gotta experience it. Okay, it said we need to, what, scan a nav beacon to, uh, find these motherfuckers? Altern oh, alternately, we could use a discovery scanner, I believe. Incoming mission critical message. Makabari whatever 3C. Lock that. Oh, okay. I bought the data just so that I could see what the planets were called. And even then, I still think I had to do the scan, because it gave me the update. Oh god. Uh, so I saw it today finally. Has anybody else seen the season 3 proper trailer for Rick and Morty? My god, does it look good. Goddamn Pickle Rick. Supposed to be uh, properly starting at the end of this month too. Pretty fucking excited. Slow down a little early, I think, but whatever. Looks like it was supposed to be in this canyon, not the next one. Finally, giving me like a destination, I guess. Uh, well, 
Well, not the softest landing ever. Gravity of the planet is like fucking with my ship. It's kind of weird. I'm not used to it. Shit's pulling me down. Like a glove, no doubt. Rockford. Oh, hey, there's some stuff. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, this one. This one? There we go. Targeting. Hello. I hate that you have to target everything. I just want a mass scoop. Kitty, I will fuck your day up if you start fucking eating cords. It will be the end of your goddamn life. Oh, yeah, that's fair. This thing does have a pretty shit cargo capacity, that makes sense. And it's uh, this and transfer and explosives. Confirm. Now I go grab more. All the things. I also hope one day they actually add more rovers in and shit. Better cargo capacity or the ability to upgrade them. If they haven't already and I just haven't experienced it. I think I fucked up. There we go. Transfer. Scrap. And pesticides. Yeah, no doubt. Bigger rovers for bigger ships. Something. God, that's cool.
now we gotta bring her back, I'd imagine. The only thing that sucks about that is we gotta fly all the fuck away back to this damn station again. Getting real fucking hardcore bum spanks. Because if you eat my headset. Oh. 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 Horrors will be fought, you kitty. Horrors. God, this station's just a stupid distance away. They were kind of dicks when they made these. And I know that there's, like, some stations where you legit have to travel, like, hours to get there and shit, but, like, why? Why is that a thing? Why does that have to be a thing? At least we're constantly increasing our speed. <laughs> Still, it takes for god damn ever to get over here. On the bright side, once we cash this in, we can head back to the Aravit system and start doing some bounty hunting. And then potentially, once we get ourselves back into the top 25% for the Aravit system, we'll probably head over the Rock or Kipla system and start doing some of that shit get ourselves uh, more community rewards, and then, yeah, go from there. Still got at least uh, three hours worth of time that I can stream, so... a second still just climbing Fair enough. I'll probably be taking a tally when I um, when I get off tonight. Uh, partially because I don't have all the engineers unlocked, so I can't really see what they offer. So I'll I'll try and do some uh, research in my off time tomorrow, and grab you know okay I want this engineer I want this I want this. What do I need to upgrade them with? You know what I mean and um, and. What do I need for materials for their upgrades for my ships? Uh, might take a couple passes. Oh no, never mind. We're slowing down, kid. Still 
spells you fast. Come on. Fuck. Had so much speed from that trip over. Hella close now, though. I saw the slow down, I thought it was fucking jump out. God damn. Son of a bitch. I know, I knew we were coming in like, we had to be- God, there's autopilot for this, but at the same point in time, this station takes a while for them. Yeah, I've got two two of the power guys now, I believe. Can do this while we're landing. But yeah, I've got uh, at least one for engine. Oh, never mind. Power distributors. Got to get this guy. You dealt with at least five black markers. Well, shit. <laughs> Ugh, don't know why my allergies have kicked up so bad tonight, but... Um, mission board. I got your hostage! There you go. Um, wait. So that mission was awesome, though. Power play cycle eminent. Thursday, make sure you have redeemed any vouchers or delivered any cargo book before then. Or they, what? Okay. Weird. Um, how am I supposed to wrap up with them now? I can't remember how it was said to be done. I thought you were supposed to, like, take a mission. A rank-up mission. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's not bad. I just have to get some stolen goods. Or I just have to cancel some missions or some shit. Um, Horizons Plus? What's the difference? It's a random spawn. Ah, oh, damn it. Really? That's unfortunate. All right, well, ship released, engines engaged. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm definitely friendly with them. I'm close to allied with them, actually. But that did really good for our standing. <laughs> oh, 
All right, man. Well, I, it's unfortunate that it's not going as well for you, but hey, I uh, won't complain about having you here. Welcome back, Blake. <coughs> okay. Okay, good, good. It still counts to my next rank. Do the ascension. Fifty percent to the next rank already. Nice. Um, curiosity. Now, if you were to essentially like grind until you had two ranks saved up, I don't know if any of you guys know this, but would your rank ascension go up by two ranks, or would you have to do another mission for ascension immediately? <clears throat> but uh, yeah, as I was saying, that mission. That mission cashed out good, because we were at 90%, we did one hostage mission, 10% right there. Oh, God. My God damn allergies. Okay. Fair enough. Leave hub we go. Okay. It's all good. Fuck yeah, and thank you, Snoopock. Oh. <sighs> so, I'm thinking we're going to get into the Cleave Hub here, guys, and then we're going to take uh, probably about a 10-15 minute break, because I am going to go take a fucking allergy pill. You guys shouldn't have to deal with me sniffling, and I hate doing it, so... I'm going to take an allergy pill, give it about 10 minutes for it to kick in so that when we come back, even if I have a little bit of the sniffles, it should go away pretty quickly. I'm also going to potentially consider heading out to the Rakipla system. I'm going to see how far away it is and like how long, how, yeah, how long it would take me to get the, um, the vulture over there kind of deal. And if it's going to be really long, then I'll kind of head over there while I'm waiting for the pill to kick in and I will kind of set up there and we'll do some bounty hunting there too because I do want to get in on it it seems silly not to and it isn't going to be around for very long actually work out pretty good because that means that the next episode will probably be about three and a half hours as well and uh yeah and uh well and this one was what three three yeah so the next one will probably be three three and a half hours as well and um we should be able to get quite a bit of shit accomplished in that in that span of time get some consumer tech and high tech systems first oh Um, why grab the consumer tech? Does it make them happy, or are they going to require it for some missions? Or for the ascension mission? Oh, 
or is there the other mission there, whatever? The other community mission. Is that what you're talking about? Because I haven't really looked at that one. Didn't look at the trading one at all. Oh yeah, it is. Rakipla. That's a decent enough payout, I guess. Worth getting in the top hunter for. Consumer tech. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, well, I mean, I may as well sign up for them. Worst that happens is I don't actually participate and I lose out. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, well... Like I said, we're going to end this episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series and this episode as much as I've definitely enjoyed bringing it to you. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the support, guys. It's It's been a great month. Oof. Yeah, so it's about the same for my fucking... Uh, for my ship right now. Five, five's not bad, though. That's that's reasonable in the, uh, in the Vulture. 12 units... Unit ships to be in the top 75%. Wow, that's not bad at all. I could do that pretty easy with the uh, the ASP get up there. <laughs> yep, yep, up to 80. I definitely appreciate that, guys. It's been fucking awesome month. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, so if you guys have enjoyed, do me a solid. Hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment, your thoughts, your critiques, your criticisms, what kind of games you'd like to see on the channel, and how you found the channel in the first place. Leave a sub if you haven't already, a follow if you're watching on the PlayStation, and as always, hit that share button to help spread the word of Kush Coffee and Games so we can continue to grow the community as a whole. Thanks for watching, and peace out. I'll see you in about 10-15 minutes.